Hey, I wanted to know if it was in my best interest to spend about a 50 bucks on a something for Dota. Because <laughs> their battle pass just came out and it was like, if I get up more than 100 levels, that's $41. And if I get more levels, I get more things. And there's so many good things. I don't know. So I just spent $42 on that <laughs> actual battle pass. Let's go! Awesome. All right. Okay, so we're going to start off the Nemesis. Oh, snap. Bunch of things popping up. Let's go. Let's take a look and see what we have in store for us. All right, so we got a bunch of cool things. Oh, my God. Especially that I'm going to be debating and planning on getting later is the Phantom Advent. Oh, my God. She looks beautiful. Look at my baby. Mmm. Look at that. And just not even just that, but like her actual alternative style. I play her all the freaking time. I feel like I'm honestly going to do really well with her and I'm going to get her. Okay, so earn a, earn a mega kill streak in a hundred different games to unlock. 100 mega kills oh my god okay you know what but with her i don't think that'd be too bad okay because i play with her so often now i feel like it's honestly going to be like worth it okay let's see how much does it cost to upgrade this okay so davian came from the original uh anime series that you guys saw probably the trailers that i reacted to i don't back down from a fight okay Okay, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. All right, so let's go to just demo. I want to see what he has to offer in terms of gameplay. Because I'm obviously going to equip it if I do get the Persona, see how it goes. So let's see how he reacts to gameplay and fighting. So he, he looks... And he sounds like the original actor. Let's see his attack animations. Nice. Okay. So the ultimate. Okay. Nice, I like that. Alright, let's check out the Ag. See if Ag's changes them. There you go. The Black Dragon. Nice. See, that? that's pretty sick. He's huge. It's huge. In action. Oh, that voice. Yes. Prepare for battle. Okay, so you still got the same somewhat animation. Oh, because they have to re redo the audible animation. Or, yeah, they got to redo the audio for her. All right, let's see. Anything different? No, that's the same. And the good question is, is if we spawn an enemy. All right. So if they attack you, do the daggers attack? Okay, I think only the daggers attack when you're attacking. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So it's like a nice little changed effect on the aura and everything, but now we have blade mail. Oh, the blade mail looks so cool. Become a porcupine. Now this is very cool. Oh my god, let's first just go through the line before we get to the end. I kind of already just spoiled it for myself. Alright, now this is nice for the Beastmaster. It gives it like uh, a little bit of a wing effect. I wonder if it's actually going to be uh, doing anything else within it. Like if it's going to have an effect on it. Um, that's very cool. So for Willow players, this is going to be nice. It's going to cause any effects. Yeah, so it's going to have the ambient effects and stuff like that. Same for this. So I actually, I want to take a look. Can I demo it? I want to demo it. I want to see if there's like any effect with the actual blades itself. Um, if there are, this is going to be pretty cool. If it's, if it's just like the wings, it's still going to be pretty cool. All right, no, it's just the wings itself. Nothing too crazy. It's, it's a low level type of mortal type. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Terrorize is still the same. Okay, okay. Nice. Alright, now the checkerboard effect, I'm not sure if that's like a, an actual uh, problem with the effect itself, or if there's something... Yeah, if that's normal. I don't know if that's expected, though. Put that back there. Normal. And then if you do that... Okay, so your thumb goes out and rolls. That's what it looks like? Yeah, your thumb or something curls out. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, so it spawns flowers around. That's very nice. It kind of gives me a little bit of an effect if you guys did watch the anime of uh, the flowers around the tower that you, that I, you guys probably know of um, if you guys have seen it. Um, very colorful. Murano is a very often played four, and I want to see if there's anything special. Good idea. As a, I, okay, so it showed up with the ultimate. Oh no, that's nice. Prepare for battle. Now that is actually pretty cool. So it kind of like turns you into like a black silhouette, okay? Because I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly because like, there's a lot of stuff to go through. Oh, nice. It looks like he has like the kind of a half or the outer shell of a, a sea mine. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. All right. Okay, so we got some sea mines that roll out. Okay. And that nice little wave effect. All right, see, now that is what it was needed. Like, that extra visual effect is just super cool to see. So, let's spawn an enemy. Level up to max. Let's take a look. Get that nice long distance so we can see the effect in use. Mm-hmm. That's a go-to right there. That Oh, yeah, that is that's satisfying. We're going to be seeing some uh, beautiful uses of AA mid, probably. It's going to not be the best, but you know what? It's okay. It's fine. Be level up to max. Boom! Okay, so the tentacles did come out kind of orange too. Orangish yellow. And the gold golden uh sea mines. See, so that's that's nice. That's nice as well. Alright, cool. Now let's go ahead and check on the Marana. A little bit of a gold silhouette. There is a nice little cool uh cool little um, uh icon above them. Okay, this one's gonna be like the one of the rarest things out there. But with it, let's take a look. Now that is a beautiful set. Look at the set on this guy. Oh my god. That pose, that posture. There was the void. Before there was anything, there was the void. Before there was Void Spirit always cracking up something very very funny. So if I run through all these enemies. Boom. Must be attentive. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay, okay. This is the one of those things that can just go around you at all times. And it changes colors. So I feel like that's going to be very nice to see uh, on a few of those people who do get lucky and get it. Let's see. What, are, what is the rarity of this? I guess it's just super rare. Let's see. 20. Okay. This is definitely not within reach. Unless you get 20 of them. All right, so we got the Weaver. Now, this isn't like a mortal or anything, so this is just like a normal themed treasure. So it looks more like kind of grasslandish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, because look, look at the sniper. I I feel like this is going to be used somewhat because people who enjoy like ghillie themed and stuff like that, especially for a sniper, are going to use this for sure. If I chose sniper, I would probably use this. I'm not gonna lie, because I don't think I have like any of the special stuff for it. Let me see, what's my hero loadout? Yeah, like, I don't have, like, that special reeling gun or anything like that, but if I get this, definitely gonna use this. Um, moving on to the other one, so... This one here from Marana looks pretty cool. I love the hat. I love, like, yeah, I just love the jewelry on it entirely. Very beautiful set. Uh, Viper. Definitely different, and it's definitely better than most of the sets he has, because, like, most of the times, like, they've been kind of... I feel like they've been lackluster uh undying okay now that's now that's a cool set kind of gives me like diablo world of warcraft kind of vibes here oh uh, he's so tall but his teeth they look they look so gold they look they look kind of goldish unless they're just rotten but look at that that's beautiful venomancer much needed look at that he has like a beetle like okay is that his ward it's his ward is it oh my god it's like a jade beetle that changes colors oh that's so beautiful all right, let's see. Wyvern definitely needed some love, and I feel like this is definitely going to appease to the masses of the Wyvern community. So if you guys are into Winter Wyvern, this is definitely a plus, in my opinion, for the Winter Wyvern community. This, this is okay. It's, I feel like this is probably like one of the least favorite of this so far. Oh my god, my boy. My boy bristle back. Let's go. All right, he has this like nice little club here. Yeah, look at that club. But not just that. Look at the quills on this man. Look at how colorful they are. This 
Bristleback's just going to be back in whenever this gets brought down from 1 in 2,000 down to, oh, 1 in 6 chance after about uh, 13 of them. Nice. <laughs> I have 8, so if I have a 1 in 17 chance, that's actually pretty good. Not going to lie. Okay, now, oh, baby, 1 in 20,000 chance, but look at that. Look at the blades on this one. He has this cool little vibe with the freaking Minotaur horn or something. It I'll be from Centaur, you know? You never know. Or Magnus. And of course, you got the beautiful kind of spicy. Try to get a, a sexy look here for the Draw Ranger, like like giving her abs and everything like that. I like the helmet. Out of all it, I like the helmet, the colorful vibe it gives, and the bow. That bone bow is super cool. O's of the Dragonborn. And then uh, the, the cosmetically rare uh, emblem, okay? So that's still with it in this one just like a little bit more flowers and stuff like that and then level five <laughs> oh that's the butt the davion butt and then you got a nice little streamy effect from the fi firing so i wonder if this is going to be for just marana or if this will be for all ranged heroes so this is just a very fast quick look of that so now let's take a look at the weekly quests now this is what's going to keep people engaged in the dota scene Weekly quest is just like any battle royale or any game like this that gives you challenges to compete and finish every week. This is going to keep people activated. Try to get the, all those quests done to get as much as they can and uh, reap the benefits of finishing these challenges. Like high five 150 times in a week? Whoa, oh, that's going to be pretty crazy for one week. Hey, the question is, will it lock down after one week? Right? Or is it going to keep, or like, will it lock this down and then move on to week two? Or is it going to be like, hey, you have all the time in the world to do these, but like, you just get these uh, quests from the first week. So you got play around and find out. Let's see. So this quest is completed in Turbo or Nemesis games for half credit. Okay, okay, okay. So you could just play normal match. So just playing matches in general. So 30 matches, home invasion, kill Rashawn. That is going to be a very big deal to try to get a whole week. That's pretty, that's pretty much a lot. Uh, matches in a five stack. Okay, so you got to play as like a team. Kill he okay, can you, can you do this as a team? Or is it just like on your own? Because I was going to say, there's, I don't know how often like regular people are going to finish these in a week. But definitely most of them are doable. So like uh, high-fiving people, uh, winning matches, playing matches and stuff. Okay, so next up cavern crawl brings me back to the day playing those and i got like the ones for the slark uh the spirit breaker so these ones are more oriented towards phantom assassin dark willow and lena is there no alternative side is there no alternate side i remember okay so yeah you have the other ones reveal is the location of highly valued okay so if you go to those corners okay cool so the few so yeah I forgot what was the last one was called, but you were able to flip this and do a different one. Uh, like, a, do the whole thing again, but you've got, like, like that third tier of that uh, item. But I guess they're just cutting back on that so they can put the rest of the focus on the TI that's going to be coming up. Uh, there's a lot of confrontation, I guess, or, like, a lot of stuff they talked about, about how uh, the Sweden government wasn't agreeing with them, but they're going to try and find alternatives. But, you know, I hope they open up, because... TI is going to happen regardless, and I feel like that's going to help Sweden bring in some cash, for, like, you know, flow, but also brings more love to the community of Dota. Um, but that was the Battle Pass. I thank you guys all so much for the support. I really appreciate it. I love you all. If you guys all watch BSJs and whatever, like, I, I completely understand. They definitely have a lot more insight on this than I probably would. But if anything, if you guys stick around to the very end, I love you all. And I really love you all for coming to this. But of course, stay master, whatever you guys do. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Later. And high five.